Craig with GearWire.com back for another home studio workshop. Today we're looking at soft synths. We're going to stray away from the native instruments for a second and look at uh, something by Spectrosonics called Trilogy. Now this is one of my favorite soft synths. Um, up until I got this soft synth, I either had two options. Call my upright bass player, get him to bring his upright bass over, mic it up, get a direct out of it if possible, and get a nice mix, you know, throw some plugins on it, and then start working with it. Um, and that's a time-consuming process, is it not? So let's take a look at this plugin and how it can help us in the studio. So here you have it, folks. Here's our Trilogy interface. Um, pretty straightforward. I'm going to start by just loading up some of the presets. Now, let me say right off the bat, this particular soft synth has just about every single bass sound known to man. When you load it up, it's just a sine wave bass, which is a very simple synth synthy bass. If you click on total bass module here, here's our, our three different categories. We have acoustic bass, um, and you can choose from how it's mic'd to how, you know, a direct pickup to uh, what kind of bass it is. You have electric bass, fingered, fretless, muted, picked, and slapped. You know, for all you cheesy guys, we got the slap bass. Uh, the synth bass as well, we got patches and waveforms. So that pretty much covers a lot of a lot of ground there. Let's just start with the acoustic to see how realistic it is, because of course, acoustic bass is very, very difficult to emulate. So you take a look, I'm choosing acoustic upright pickup with the DI, so it's plug direct, and the microphone. So it's the best of both worlds. This should be one of the best sounding ones. So I'm out of here, this is all the different styles we have. We have harmonics, gliss, staccato, sustain. I'm gonna select sustain because I like a lot of long notes with acoustic bass. So I'm just gonna play something. And you can hear, that sounds just like somebody's playing an acoustic bass. Um, pretty impressive, I have to admit. I had a guy in the studio yesterday night who was laying down some bass lines that were just sounding unbelievable. It sounded very technical, like a really good bass player, but he's not a bass player at all. He was just playing it on the keyboard. He's a keyboard player, but it was still very impressive sounding. Um, so let's let's go to something completely different, um, like a fingered electric bass, four string old school sustain. Let's try that. So you can hear the electric sounding bass very powerful, very strong, um, even has a lower octave, you know, very deep, very full. Uh, like I said, this is, this particular plugin has saved me a lot of time. You can lay down your MIDI notes and then select what bass sound you want. Now let me show you something really cool. Under fretless bass, they have Jocko, all right? So uh, I, don't, I don't know where they got these samples exactly or how they did this. They probably just found somebody that sounded just like Jocko and sampled them. But uh, this is pretty impressive. Uh, so that's not too bad. Sounds kind of like Jocko. If we go a little bit further into here, we have something that I really enjoy called harmonic clusters. And these are like those crazy harmonics Jocko used to do. And they actually sampled them and threw them into this soft synth. So kind of weird. Uh, if you haven't listened to any Jocko Pastorius, uh, this probably wouldn't sound very cool to you, but he did a lot of really cool stuff with harmonics. And it's really cool to find a soft synth that is able to recreate that very accurately at that. Um, so again, you have your muted bass, picked bass, and we'll just do it for fun. We got our, our slap bass. So... Here's our synth bass. Uh, we also have synth basses. I'm going to go back to the acoustic bass so we can uh, talk about how we can manipulate the sound. Now, as you notice, this is set up actually kind of like a synthesizer. You have your modulation over here, all your modulation effects, pitch, filters, amps, pans, um, pitch envelopes, LFOs, all these different things over here. Right here, we have our filter section. We can put like a low pass filter on it. have your resonance. So you can get really crazy with it if you want. Um, as far as bass goes though, I'll just kind of take it easy on that stuff. I want a nice clean bass sound. Um, you have your filter envelopes and your amp envelopes so you can change your decay or your release, anything like that. You can also change the curve of the wave, make it a little bit smoother if you want. But all in all, you have an unbelievable amount of control over various different bass sounds. 
a lot of great presets to choose from and a lot of great ways to manipulate them. So this particular plugin, this particular soft synth has saved me, I don't know, a thousand dollars at least of paying bass players to come into my studio and record. So I can lay these ideas down really quick with MIDI and it'll sound great. And th this is one of the soft synths where I listen to the end result of my track and go, actually, you know, this sounds good. You know, I don't need to redo that bass. It sounds really good. So this particular soft synth, I give probably a silver, almost a gold medal as, as being one of the most efficient ways to lay stuff down quickly in the studio. So it's helped me a great deal and it'll probably help you too. Thanks.